Hi everybody, welcome to Homegrown and Happiness. It is that time of year again for chicks. We have had our current flock for how long now? Two years. Two years. We've had nine girls. They've done well. And now it's time for us to pass them on. We've already had four of them gone so uh -huh. far. We have a few left to get rid of and we're going to be changing out our ducks as well. But we want to share with you, uh, when it comes to chicks, sometimes people get real like, what do I need to build? How do I do this? It's really not a hard process to do when you have chicks. And a lot of the places right now, uh, Big R and Buckley's Homestead Store have chicks in stock. In fact, we just went to Buckley's. We're going to show you here in just a second. But we want to tell you how we build our brooder every year. First year we build it huge. Uh, we have a front porch that's kind of a little rough front porch that we're going to be we're working on, uh, but it's uh, it's got some heat that comes to it, and we leave the door open to the house when we do it. So what we've done here, and I'm going to show you in just a second, is we build a brooder. It cost us eighteen dollars. Eighteen dollars to build. We went to the local uh, U-Haul store. store. We bought the largest, the extra large boxes, and we cut them. We only use three boxes here, and then some just some clear plastic shipping tape. And that's all it takes, plus some wood chips. We have a light that we bought. That would cost you more if you don't have that yet to get you a light. So I'll show you here uh, what we have. Um, this is, uh, again, this is made of, of uh, U-Haul shipping boxes, the large ones. And there you go. Um, it's, it's long enough that they're able to go all the way down and get to the very end, but they're going to start down at the very uh, far end where the light's at right now. Um, when you get baby chicks, you have to keep it at uh, 95 degrees for the first week, and then you decrease 5 degrees every week. So what we've done here is we've, we, this, we've been using this for years. We have a light that you can buy at your local store. Uh, your uh, what feed store? I think Big R yeah, probably Big carries R. them. A lot of uh, even even a hardware store, Harbor Freight probably carries them. It has a red bulb in there. If you can see, uh, that's better for the chicks. Um, and then we just uh, suspended it on a chain all the way up um, to a little hook on the ceiling. That's it. Pretty straightforward. And then you can adjust that uh, as they uh, as they uh, need to be getting it cooler and cooler, and you harden them off. Uh, we filled it with wood chips, and uh, so right now we have six six baby chicks. What are they again, Kelly? Uh, two Buff Worthingtons, two <clears throat> Easter Eggers, and two Brahmas, and then next week we'll have some Barred Rocks that will be joining us. There you go. So we're going to do eight birds this year. Hopefully they will all be girls, and hopefully they all make it, because part of the process of having baby chicks is sometimes things happen and they don't make it. So and, Go ahead. And when this is all done, when the chicks move out of this and they move out to the coop outside, the easy part about this is you just fold it all up, and toss it out. There you go. Piece of cake. Now, one of the things that they talk about for baby chicks, and I don't know what that's called, but they'll pile up in the corners. That really doesn't happen when you have a small amount of chicks like we have here. Um, that happens when you have a large amount. We did meat birds one year. We had how many... 30. Uh, 30 and they can what they can do is they'll find a corner to try and get warm or safe and they'll pile up in the corner and they can actually kill each other so when you have this small of birds it's usually not a problem uh, but you really could if you needed to you could take some of the leftover cardboard and you could round off the corners a little bit if you needed to so that they didn't have a corner to pile up in but for now uh, this is the greatest thing it's worked great for us for years and it's so cheap to do and so easy so there you go I'm Tracy this is Kelly we're from homegrown and happiness have a great time farming. Bye.